Hey guys, it's Niani Simone and welcome back to my channel. This this week video, we're gonna be doing a full set of short nails. Um, this week I'll be using the Apres Natural Oval Shape Nails in the French Tip Collection. So yeah guys, I'm gonna see you in the next clip. This is an overview of how the nails look when they come in the box. I feel like this set doesn't come with that many nails, but let me know in the comments down below. I prepped my nails off camera, so now as you can see in these next few clips, I'm going to be sizing the nails to see which ones fit my nails perfectly. And then I'm going to file the inside of the nails so they can adhere to my natural nail bed. And this also allows the nails to have like a grip so they can also last longer. As I mentioned in my previous nail video, having this nail clamp makes it so much easier to cure the nails for that quick 30 seconds to hold them into place before we cure them under that full LED lamp for like three minutes. This tool is so useful to have. So now that we cure the nails for a good two to three minutes, I'm just going to file and buff over them. I'm going to try as best as I can to file them into shape, get any excess gel off the cuticle area. And I'm also buffing off the shine just so the nail polish can hair much better. Now that we're all done prepping, this is how the final result looks. It's just very like natural looking. We bought the shine off, now we're ready to go and polish and have some fun. Okay, for the first step, I'll be applying this very transparent um, clear nail polish that I ordered off of Amazon. And I'm going to be setting it under the UV LED lamp for around 60 seconds so that it can dry. Now you guys see me with the top coat and this is because I'll be doing like chrome tips on a few of the nails. So I'm just going to brush um, the top coat on the nails that I want the chrome powder to be on. And as I said before in my previous nail video, we do not want to like fully cure the top coat because we want the chrome powder to stick. So we're just going to cure it for around 10 seconds. Now this is the chrome powder that I'll be using, it's like that unicorn type of chrome powder. I also ordered this on Amazon too and I'm just going to show you like the shimmer and how it looks in the bottle and this stuff is so easy guys like all we have to do is take that makeup applicator, brush the chrome powder on and rub it in and then we have a French tip chrome powder now as you can see I'm just rubbing it in I'm not really focused on trying to get the smile line perfect. I'm just like rubbing in the chrome powder in a very like um, ombre type of way. Now 
Now for the fun part, we'll be gluing these jewels onto our nails. Today I'm going to be um, placing the jewels like a little above my cuticle area. And I'll be using this glue that I bought from Amazon. It's a brush on glue that you can use to adhere nail jewels and also tips. So I'll be linking that down below for you guys too. And this is just up close in detail how I place the jewels onto my nail. It's very simple. I'm just trying to place it like a little above my cuticle area because I don't want it to be like on top of my cuticles because I feel like that's just not going to place right. And also I'm setting a stone under the lamp, like the table lamp for around 30 seconds before I put it, put it under the full lamp. I didn't really get the top coat and frame, but I'm using the same as that top coat that I even get in the video. This is the A-Press um, Glossy Gel Top Coat. And as you can see, I'm not applying the top coat on the stones, but I'm applying it around it, and this helps lock them into place so they can actually last longer. So yes, guys. Okay guys, this is the final result on how the nails came out. I think these came out pretty cute and it's very beginner friendly. I'm going to insert another nail clip just so you guys can see. And of course, thank you guys so much for watching my video and supporting my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! <laughs>